Good afternoon and welcome to my daily chat. I have a little question for you. Um, are you in a long distance relationship with your future partner? And I should try to think of what the hell that means. I will explain. But before I explain and give you all the details about that, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and why I do these talks. Uh, my name is Barry Selby, in case you already know that. I am an inspirational speaker, love and relationships expert, and a passionate champ. Actually, I'm not jumping around. Let me start again. Hi, I'm <laughs> I'll get my instructions. My instructions are evolving and it keeps changing. My name is Barry Selby. Hi, I'm an inspirational speaker, love and relationships expert, and also the author of the best-selling book Fifty Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, singles and couples, men and women. It'll help you get sorted out for relationships. So I recommend checking it out. I'll give you the link at the back end. Um, I am. I, I, I am a relationship love expert. As I mentioned, I help women create balance in love, life, and business because I am a passionate champion for the divine feminine. So I stand for women. I'm a champion for what in, what they're about because it changes everything when women are leading in their lives. And I'll get more into that at another point. And because I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, it is also what informed my talks that I started over two, excuse me, almost three years ago. It was actually December 2016 when I started. So getting closer to three years now. Um, these talks called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring a Feminine Heart, which is why today we're episode number 846. Yes, I got a lot of these. And I'll tell you, we can find the replays at the back end as well. So the topic today is an interesting twist. Actually, I, I posted a meme early today, which is what this came from. So if you see the post on my wall, it was kind of like that. Um, you're in, you're in, you're in, I try that one again in English. You're in a long distance relationship with your future boyfriend who hasn't shown up yet. Because in the future. And so the idea being is the long distance is because you're here in time and they haven't shown up yet, so it's a long way away. That's kind of the spin on this. And I want to talk about that because, because it's important. <laughs> I was going to go a different path. No, let me say the truth. So, in, by the way, if you, haven't, if you haven't watched my talks before, I tend to have, well, having done 846 of these, including this one, I have a wide array of things to talk about. But it all ties into relationships, love, romance, self-support, etc. So just so you know ahead of time, this can wander around depending on what's going on because I usually channel what's coming through and it's not always what I planned. And because I don't plan anything, it's highly likely it will come through differently than what I planned. So let me start with what I do want to start with <laughs> before I jump too far in. If you're not in a relationship, if you're single, but you have this, um, I hate to use the word fantasy, but it is kind of a fantasy, about what's possible you might be able to have. But it's something that never shows up. It's like perpetually at, dis at a distance. This relationship that you're wanting to have has been hanging out like a carrot in front of a donkey that never gets closer. And I'm saying it that way to be kind of blunt and it's not, pre it's not pretty to say it the way I understand, but I want to make sure you get this point, is that it's tempting sometimes to have a vision of a relationship that never shows up. And I feel for you some, because I've been there myself painfully so, where a relationship was something that I had a real vision of, and so nobody would be um, equal to it. In fact, nobody would be um, good enough, to put it bluntly, to match that vision I had of relationship. Because I had, because what I'd done was, and maybe you've done the same thing, is that future relationship I, was, I had created was so much more um, impossible because I'd make it out into a fantasy. It wasn't real, it wasn't alive, it wasn't functional. Now, I'm not saying you should settle, and I'm just gonna clarify what I mean as a, as a, a range so you understand what I'm talking about. But the temptation is that you can be in a place where nobody's good enough. Now, let me, okay, let me put, I need to put a, I need to put a bottom on top, below this, because this is the top, this is the bottom. I did a talk a few, about a week or two ago, about settling about how we tend to put up with stuff we don't deserve. Actually, maybe more recent than that. So this, in a way, is the other, the other end of the spectrum. It's kind of the, um, the boundary of the, the top boundary. So let me give you some framing. So in the lower level, where you're putting up with less than you deserve, there's a part of you that doesn't feel you can have what you want. So there is a feeling that you just don't have the freedom, have the um, ability or even desire to have what you really want. So you don't even go for that. So that's one side of it which is actually kind of the limiting side because you'll start limiting your choices and be in a place where you'll start being frustrated by what you end up being in a relationship or who you've been in a relationship with. Don't settle for less than you deserve. Let me be clear about that. I've talked about that before in my work and I do talk about it in my coaching because many of my clients have been in 
relationships that they look back on and go, I didn't want to be in the relationship that bad. Now, you may have some experience in your own history, if you look back at your history, with um, humility and honesty. So, yes, you set your standards higher. You raise your bar. You said, okay, I want a relationship that's going to be much better than what was before. But the challenge is we set a relationship that's so far above what's possible. And it is, an, it is, it is I'll give it careful here. It is an illusion to set it that impossible. At the same time, it's okay to have what you want. And so sometimes we go, well, and, and we'll say it this way. Hmm. I did say it channels. Stuff comes through this way. Relationships oftentimes are so... Um, hmm, I don't say it that way. This is interesting. I'm trying to frame how I want to say this because I can feel... I can, it's one of these where I can feel what I want to say, but I haven't got the words for it yet. So let me just talk around it till I get to the other side because it's around, it's around this, this object in the way. Having what you want is absolutely okay. It's, in, it's, it's a, a, a permissible, it is authentic, it is viable, and it's okay if you ask what you want and set your standards as high as you really believe they're worthy of being. In, in my online course called Attract the Man You Want, I actually create the eight modules which help you create the vision and the, um, it's not fantasy, but it's the intention of what you want to have, and actually walk you through the steps of getting there. It's a powerful program, by the way. But the thing is, it's still something you can actually get hold of. It's something you can actually achieve. The challenge, oh, this is the piece. Okay, so let me back up to the bottom piece again as I started with. When you've settled for relationships that aren't as good as you want to be and you've done it many, many times, it sometimes can be hard to choose higher than that. It can, be, it can sometimes be hard to actually go for what you really want because you're so used to what doesn't work and you think you actually deserve nothing better than that. And that's the trap that people fall into. So first of all, clear that one out. <laughs> Sounds so simple, I know. But first of all, just get clear that what happened before does not limit you, limit you with what you can have in the future, first of all. To be transparent, in my past relationships, I'm looking back at some of my, excuse me, history, I definitely noticed some of my relationships were evolving, getting better as I was growing and becoming more aware, and also more holding true to what I wanted. Of course, that's in hindsight. At the time, I didn't know that. So just to be clear. But looking back, I see that relationship getting better and better. And I have a vision of what I want in a relationship. And it's, not as, it, it's above what I had before. But I also know it's totally where I'm going because of who I am. And this is the piece I guess I want to teach you in this piece. Is sometimes we have a fantasy of relationship, as I said before, that is so far above where we can have it. It's not even available to us. Again, long-distance relationship where somebody's not here yet because they'll never be here. Because until you, so until one of two things happens... This is the piece. You either bring that vision closer by making it more accessible to you, more reasonable to you, or, or and, you raise your own, um, and I don't want to use the vibration. Vibration is too esoteric or too woo-woo sounding. But what you do is you raise your standards by raising who you are. What I mean, though, that by that is you change your own relationship with yourself. Yes, you change your own relationship with yourself, meaning that you may have not treated yourself well because of past relationships. You may have not treated yourself well because of your upbringing. You may not treat yourself well because of the environment you're in. But you can make different choices. It's interesting. I saw two posts today from friends of mine who were celebrating 30 years of sobriety as a, just a total example. Where both of them were posting, they, had, they were showing their um, the coins, 30 year anniversary of, of being sober. I, actually, let me be clear. I don't know if they both were drinking sobriety or if it was some other thing, but I think it was alcohol. Anyway, that's not relevant. What I want to say, though, is they chose to raise their standards because they were no longer willing to play down in that, that place of addiction that they were in before. And it's been a row for both of them. They were sharing some of their stories and their memories. And it was incredible to read their posts about this, and I was very touched by it. So you can change your relationship with yourself by raising your own standards. If you have some pattern, limitation, um, perspective that keeps focusing your eyes downwards, so to speak, into what doesn't work. You can start by raising that up. There's a great gif that's running around, sorry, gif, gif, which way you say it, on Facebook about the basketball player who's, who's, who missed a shot and he's walking along with his head down. And his teammate comes up and pushes his head up to make him look up and he looks up from that point forward. It's a three second gif. But that point of view of raising your own vision, raising your own perspective and seeing yourself differently. When you look in the mirror, who do you see? Meaning that when you look in the mirror, do you see yourself when you were 10 years younger? 
when you maybe you were young and, and inept, or maybe you look in the mirror and see who you really are and you judge what you see. Then again, maybe you look in the mirror and you see someone who you're very proud of. Or if you do, awesome. If you don't, why not? <laughs> what if your relationship with yourself is the key to everything? Oh, that's the big secret I'm giving you. <laughs> this is the thing I was, I was going I, I I, I to say until it later. I didn't, I didn't have clarity, just dropped through. So let me say this piece clearly because it's, it's, it's the blunt truth. Your relationship with yourself is the key to everything. If you want to have an amazing relationship, improve the relationship with yourself to be amazing too, and you can attract that relationship. Okay, now give me the answer to everything. I can sign off now. No, more than that. <laughs> but my point is this, is that the relationship with yourself reflects on everything. Your career, your finances, your relationships, your health, your physical well-being, your spiritual path, your social environment. All of that is dependent upon and influenced by your relationship with yourself. That long distance relationship, the reason why there's distance between you and that future partner, besides being a time difference, as in there in the future, is frankly because maybe you don't either have your own self-esteem raised up to honor and respect yourself and raise up your own relationship with yourself first. And again, maybe the, the vision you have of the person up there is too so far out of reach, they're not even possibly available to you either. So in a kind of way, what I'm inviting you to do is to meet in the middle, where you bring the relationship of what you have as the fantasy into reality, and it might not change that vision much, but it's making it real to you because maybe you've got it in such a fantasy world where you don't believe it's possible. Uh -huh, there we go. Another piece drops in. Okay, let me say this another way because I just saw it lines up. That fantasy relationship you have quite possibly is simply because you don't believe it's possible. So you place it into a fantasy and make it, in, make it unavailable, make it too far in the distance, make, make it not possible. The only reason it's a fantasy is because you said so. It doesn't have to be a fantasy if you don't say so. Meaning that if you take that relationship as a fantasy and you make it accessible by saying, yes, you can have that, that you deserve it, that you're, it's worthy of you. And I have that for myself. Just, okay, I'm going to be honest again. <laughs> I love doing this. I've got to keep saying things that are true. So my experience has been where I've had, where I've met beautiful women who I put them so far outside my possibility of being in a relationship with them because I made them impossible to see. I made that fantasy so far outside of reach, I couldn't have it. And the reality is that as I've seen them later, I see so clearly that, first of all, they're human beings, not some illusionary fantasy of some mystical being. They're actually real. Stay. Um, but also, at the same time, I shifted because I started seeing the real people. So let me say it this way. We, all seven and a half billion people on the planet, or it is seven point something billion people on the planet, are all human beings. At least I think so. So none of them are outside the realm of possibility. They might pretend to be, or you might pretend them to be, but none of them are. So that relationship you may be holding on to, thinking it's not going to be possible because they're so far outside your reach, maybe, maybe not. Maybe you need to change your own internal belief systems. And yes, maybe you need to change your own style of being, your own lifestyle to fit the way you want to go to, because some of us have visions that so far outside our, our frame of reference, we need to change our own um, way of doing things to match up with where you want to go. But you can do both of those things because both of those are nothing to do with anybody else. They're all to do with you. You have that power, you have that freedom, you have that gift to change your own relationship to yourself and that transforms the relationship you have to everybody else. Again, as I said, when you transform your relationship with yourself, everything else changes. However, it doesn't do it without your help. So you've got to do the work with yourself. You've got to be willing to face your own demons your own possibilities and your own limitations of what you've chosen for yourself so you can be free to have what you really want. Sounds simple, doesn't it? <laughs> Let me just say it this way. When you really claim who you are and you honor your own relationship with yourself, then everything around, as I said, changes. So that relationship that you've made so far outside your frame of reference, hi Christina, nice to see you my broadcast, comes into a place of being reasonable and accessible to you. But it does take the work inside. And I keep, being, I keep hammering this point home and be adamant about it because I'm clear about this, is you've got to be willing to work on yourself first. Changing the relationship with yourself changes everything around you because everything around you is dependent, not codependent, but it's dependent upon the relationship with yourself. The way you see the world through the lens of your eyes and the way you hear it through, the, through your ears goes through filters to get into your consciousness. So if you change those filters and change your awareness of how you see things and hear things, for example, 
then everything around you will change. I'm just thinking, I'm waiting to see if an example drops in. One didn't, so let me say it. So let me say it this way. Hmm. I want to talk about invitations to coach with me, but I, I don't want to be that blatant, but I guess I have to be that blatant because it's coming through. So let me say it this way. If you know how to do this yourself, go for it. If you're not sure how to do this, I can help you. That simple. So in my work with my clients, I am passionate about helping them learn to live their life fully, to express themselves, to have what they want, especially in relationships, but also love themselves fully in the journey. When you're ready to do that work and when you're ready to transform your experience, that's when we talk. I'm not saying reach out now because you may not be ready, but if you are ready now, good time to do it. So I'll put some links in the comments. As I mentioned at the beginning of my book, I'm only put, I'll put that in the comments. I will put a link in the comments for a conversation with me so we can talk one-on-one -on -one privately and see where you are and where you want to go and if I can help you with that because I'm not promising to help everybody. And because I mentioned also my, my um, Attract the Man You Want program, which is the online eight-module program, if you're ready to f really get clear about your vision, intention, and set it up to win, that'll be in the comments as well. So Attract the Man You Want, book, and chat with me. Those three will be in the comments. Um, let me give them to you verbally so you can check them out for yourself if you don't want to wait till I put the comments in later on. Um, coaching with, to have a chat with me is barryselby.com forward slash chat. Easy to find. My book is 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, but you can go to barryselby.com forward slash book. That's easy as well. And the track the man you want is shortened to ATM, so it's barryselby.com forward slash ATM to sign up for that. And that includes coaching if you want it. That's a choice. You can do it on your own or with the coaching. Both are available. So I'll put links in manually in the comments after I sign off so you can get them that way. But if you want to just get ahead and get ahead start now, go for it. Um, I think I've made my point. I'm just thinking there's anything else that needs to drop in. It is up to you. Your choice, your freedom, your availability, when you're willing to do the work to get there. Again, if you know how to do this yourself, great. I can help you with it if you want to do that. And uh, it's up to you to decide. It's really up to you. So having said all that, thank you for watching. This is my daily Facebook Live I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here on my personal page, which is Barry Selby on Facebook. Um, replays are on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. At, at least the last 300 or so are on my business page. So like my page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author, and you can watch replays there. Alternatively, and I know they are all that I've checked a few times now, on my YouTube channel, I have every single one of the broadcast, all 800 of them, plus them, they're all there. So if you go to um, youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Barry Selby, you can find my channel. Please subscribe. And there's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. So um, I think that's it. Um, yes, subscribe to my channel. Oh, <laughs> I should say on the channel is a playlist called Messages from the Masculine, where all of these live. You can watch them all there. If you have any questions, thoughts about this, comp this broadcast, please put them below and respond when I sign off. If you want to shout for help, I gave you the links verbally. I'll put them in writing in the comments after I sign off. Don't waste time. Reach out for support. Take action today and get what you want so you can love fully. I thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. You take care of yourself. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye.